Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. I promise this is going to be the last day. Well, not the last day because this sweater is very comfortable and it's very warm. So you're definitely going to see this again this season. But this is the last day within the sequence of seven days that you're going to see this sweater because this is the last uh, video that I'm recording prior to me coming back home to Cleveland. I'm not sure what the weather looks like outside. A lot of times I comment on the weather. I really don't know what to say. But hopefully I can speak forward because remember I'm recording these on Thursday but you're seeing it on Saturday and say I'm having a great time in Cincinnati hope everyone's having a wonderful time wherever you guys are let's go ahead and hop into to today's goal I love today's goal which is to be receptive I'm sorry let me back up as always God is blessing us he's always going to be blessing us the goal for today is to be receptive okay being receptive and being receptive means that you have the quality to receive okay um, and you are willing to admit your faults or your wrong. And you're also, um, willing to be corrected in some way, shape or form. Okay. So being receptive, I think is extremely important, especially in, I, I'm going to say in the African American community, because I feel like a lot of times it's very hard for people to receive certain things because we get offended a lot of people and i don't know if it's in any other communities i'm african-american so i can speak you know on behalf of well not on behalf of but i can speak in that arena because that's the arena that i'm in that's that's my playing field um but i just know that a lot of times correct i just know not even for the african-american community as a whole i know just for my family a lot of times when we say things to people or when we're, people are telling things to us sometimes it um sometimes we receive it in a way that wasn't meant to be that that it wasn't intended to be received okay so part of being receptive there's so many different facets and just layers of being receptive i own i don't want to make this video too long so i'm going to try to hit you know some some key ones part of being receptive is making sure that you're listening your listening skills got to be on point in order for you to be receptive if you are listening with the intent to reply i can already tell you that the 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 conversation is not going to be a receptive one on your end because you're not listening to hear someone you're just listening so that you could say something back and i sometimes i catch myself doing that too and i really have to pull back but i really don't enjoy speaking with people like that because it's like did you even hear what i said or did you are you just trying to you know come back come back come back come back and i've talked to people like that all the time and it's like sometimes it's overwhelming to speak to them so in order to be receptive your listening skills have to be on point when you listen you don't always have to to reply and if you do reply sometimes you may need to wait a second okay your your replies don't need to be you know, back to back to back. So when we're listening, we want to make sure that we're listening, not only, you know, in order to reply, but listening to hear and understand what the other person is saying or where the other person is coming from. Also, part of being receptive is understanding what generational curses or what things, um, like what you're prone to. Like a lot of times people that I've noticed at least, and again, I'm no professional or anything like that. This is, these are just things that I've noticed, you know, over my small minute 28 years here on earth but normally or i won't say normally but a lot of people that i have seen that are that are not as receptive are people that um have different wounds like they're wounded for something so a lot of people that have um that that, that were wounded when they were younger and i'm trying to think of the word but i can't think of it uh, but a lot of people when they were they were the uh, thank you jesus the, a lot of people when they are dealing with the spirit of rejection. Um, it's hard for people, it's hard for them to be as receptive as they should or as receptive as they as, as they need to be because they've dealt with rejection in their life. And rejection doesn't, does, rejection comes in, in the forms of many different ways. And, you know, being not being receptive is just one characteristic of someone who, you know, is going through rejection or has been through rejection. So I don't want you guys to think that these are, you know, definite, identifiers but a lot of times when people have gone through rejection in their life it's hard for them to receive from some people because they always think that people are criticizing them or they always think that they're being attacked because of some things that they've dealt with in the past so those i think are the main two there's a lot more and i don't again i don't want to make this video long but for that one specifically dealing with rejection i think that honestly that is going to deal with you really digging deep into yourself and pulling back some layers and uncovering and 
uncovering some wounds and really addressing those wounds and going through a healing process. One of my, uh, or my God sister rather, she has this group, this ministry called Hindsight. And one of the main, thing that she, main things that she deals with in that ministry is um, mental health and making sure that people who have gone through mental health or have gone through things like the spirit of rejection or anything like that are going, are properly going through the, um, the healing process. And, you know, you have different resources of going through that healing process. If you want to check her out, her name is Jocelyn Hines. She's also on the, um, road to be a doctor. So, you know, keep her in your prayers and, her Instagram name. I'll have to link it in the description because I cannot remember her Instagram name. Oh, it's called Becoming Dr. Hines because that's what she's doing. But yes, um, that's her group and it really helps with, or uh, it really is targeting people that need to go through that healing process. And what are some ways or what are some areas and some steps that we can use to help us go through that healing process. And I think being receptive is honestly being open to all those things. It's identifying areas of your life that are you know that need improvement and they could be self-identification or it could be it could have been identified from someone else but regardless of where the identification came from it's known that you know these are some areas that I'm struggling with and being receptive is being open is admitting those areas and then being open or willing to receive help or assistance in that it's not all about like and we people 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 we got to push our pride aside because just because you need help in an area doesn't mean that you're weak. Doesn't mean that you are, you know, the stigma person, the stigma of a person that is always, you know, asking for handouts or anything like that. It means that you, to me, actually, if you are asking for help in an area where you're not as strong, I kind of view that as a strength. Like if I, for example, I'm a supervisor and I manage a team and you know we've been going through interview processes and stuff so if I if someone if I interview someone and they said and I asked them you know, what are some of their strengths or what are some of your strengths and someone said one of my strengths is when I need help I don't mind going out for you know going to look for resources I don't mind I, I don't mind doing that I think that that is a strength because so many people always try to figure things out by themselves and that's not you know that's not wrong either but if at the end of the day you can't you can't why are you going to continue to struggle and fight hard against this wall when someone's like yo i have the key to the door if you want my help i can open it for you you know what i'm saying so that's about that's a part of being receptive too is just making sure that you're open and you're willing to receive from other people okay or from other resources so that was a mouthful and I know this video is long. I can just, I can already tell. But yes, that is the goal for today is to be receptive. I hope everyone has a wonderful Saturday and a blessed Sunday. And I will talk to you guys again on Monday. Bye.